As we all know, horses are sensitive to weather changes. They're sensitive to all sorts of different things. So whenever we have a horse that might be going through something that could be stress inducing, we always add this to their evening grain. And this is my man Jerry here. I call him Jerry Bear. He has had joint problems in his front right knee for a little while now. And the last four months he's been on the supplement and it's made a loads of difference. Well, the reason this product is my absolute favorite is because there is no toxic level. You cannot give too much of this product. Cat full for Bling and a cat full for me. One hand. There you go. There you go. I love this product for two different reasons and I give it for two different reasons. I give all of my horses one of these before I haul them, especially on long trips because it helps with colic conditions and it just keeps them kind of calm and their stomachs settled. And another reason I do it is I give it before I go, <laughs> you're okay. I give it before I go in the arena to compete. I can honestly say that this has been the number one contributor to my fixing my alley issues. My horse is so confident going in the alley now that I know for a fact that we're going in that alley and that we're going to make a good run. When I started using the aloe gut, I noticed a difference. I felt a difference in her. Her demeanor changed. Her behavior changed. She enjoyed her job more. It's super easy to use. You just slide your finger right in here and give it to him just like a wormer. Just like that. That's how easy it is. I use a scoop or a cup of the farm aloe pellets and then I put a cap full of the farm aloe concentrate on top and they seem to love it every single morning. On days that we're not competing or we're having light riding days or training days, they get one cup full of the pellets and one cap full of the four times concentrate. And I like both of these products as um, a daily user. But on days that I am competing or the night before a rodeo or if roping practice or extensive training, I will give two capfuls of this and I can also bump up the dosage of the pellets. Each horse gets a cupful of the aloe pellets. Gracie in the background there making all the noise, she gets a cupful of the pellets and one capful of the juice. My horses love it. So for Bling's feeding program in the evenings, what I'll do is give her a scoop of farm aloe pellets, a scoop of her grain, and then I'll get the concentrate, and I will pour a couple capfuls on top, especially if I feel like she needs an extra boost. Normally I feel like the pellets are enough for her. But if we're traveling or if she's kind of acting off that day or maybe it's really hot or she just needs a little extra, I love this because that is all the picking up this horse needs.